Welcome back at 914 this morning. She's a chef to stars including Lenny Kravitz, Lee Daniels, Common, and so many more. And today she's here to whip up a healthy holiday casserole that's sure to impress your guests. Chef Aki joins us with more details about the recipe and also a brand new book called The Fibroid Elimination Guide. But first, let's get into cooking, Chef. What are we going to make today? Okay, so today we are making a healthy holiday casserole. Healthy okay. and holidays. The two can go together? Yes, it's very, very <laughs> important because we want to make sure that in the morning you have something quick and easy that you mm -hmm. can make that's not too, too filling before you ease into that holiday meal. Yeah. So this is really quick and easy. So I want to show you guys how to do this. This is a quinoa pumpkin casserole. Mm. Okay. So fortunately, this is a one meal situation here. Okay. So you can just throw two cups of quinoa into your bowl here. We're going to toss everything in here. All right. So I'm going to also add to that some pumpkin puree. Okay. Now you can do butternut squash. You can do whatever you like, different types of pumpkins, but we're going to just do a typical pumpkin today. Now Next to up the that, recipe. Yeah. Now and, to and this. And these ingredients are, are, are good for us. Why? What are these? Awesome. You know, this is really good for you because quinoa is very, very high in protein, uh -huh. helps with metabolism, and you're going to need that during the holiday season, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so to that, we want to spice it up and make it really festive. So I'm going to do um, cinnamon, allspice, and ginger. Okay. All right, and after that, you can really just throw a little vanilla extract, a little bit of um, water to this dish, and that's mm -hmm. what's going to absorb and make this thing fluff up really, really nice and make your pour, uh, your casserole really, really soft and moist, okay? Mm. So to this, you can just really check that out. I like, you know, the coloring looks good. You know, when the color is good, you and know it's going to cook up well. And the smell, right? So after you put everything in your bowl, you can just throw that into a casserole dish mm -hmm. and you can actually put that in the oven for about 40 minutes on 350. And from there, you'll have a nice plump casserole. All right. Mm. Really easy. But the good thing about this is you want to crunch it up a little bit and make sure that you get a nice topping going. All right, while you're making that topping, tell us a little bit about your book and why you decided to focus on the issue of fibroids. Okay, so this is really important to me, especially. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the women in my family have su suffer suffered from some type of reproductive disorder. Yeah. And right now, one in three black women are suffering with reproductive disorders, okay? So we're leading the world, actually, right now in hysterectomies, excuse me, um, because of this. So this is really important. I wanted to create a book that helped women to eat better but still enjoy food uh -huh. and also just to specifically address fibroids and really all reproductive disorders. This isn't just about fibroids. It's This also addresses PCOS, uh, endometriosis, um, ovarian cysts. And food plays such a big huge. role in that. Your diet can affect your health so huge, much. So now, huge. you know, you're answering those questions. I'm sure I, I have a lot of girlfriends myself. I have family members who suffer and, um, you know, it's great that you're offering solutions because, you know, when you're looking for something to eat, it's very limiting, it's especially true. when you have health concerns. It's very true, you know, but we can enjoy food Ooh, that still. smells good. So what Isn't did you just nice? add? I know we've been talking, <laughs> <laughs> but we got to smell this. What, Look, so what's going on so here? You can, this is um, a pecan crumble. Mm. I actually use walnuts today, but you can use Ooh. pecans, ladies. So pecans mixed with a little bit of spelt or almond flour. It's up to you with some coconut butter. So we're talking dairy-free here. Okay. This is, the, right. is this the coconut that butter? That is the coconut butter. So instead butter. of using the grease that I normally use, yes, this is what we're saying. No, get rid of the grease. Dump the grease. We're going to use the coconut. Now, this is like a butter-flavored coconut oil. Okay. So coconut oil, again, great for metabolism, really, really good for you. So you just heat this up for just a second, and we added some hemp seeds to this as well. Again, it makes really, it healthier, really good right? for you. Yes. All those so extra things. So you got the hemp seeds. you got your spelt, spelt flour, no um, bleach flour, anything like that. So we just heat that up for a second, put that to the side, and you're actually going to toss this on top of your casserole dish. And I want to show you guys the fine final <laughs> result here. Ta-da! After you pop that out of the oven. Isn't oh, it that looks beautiful? good. Nice. Looks so I'd really love good. for you to try this if you'd I like. Will. I will try We're this. Just, how how about we talk a little see. bit about um, the stars that you've been cooking for? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> there's a, a laundry list, but I know for a Fox's hit new show, Stars, you've been cooking for some of the so Lenny Kravitz, just to name a few. I have, I've Daniel. been down there on set. Oh, you've I've been, been on set? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Lenny's a great, great friend of mine. I've been I'm cooking off and on for Lenny for a couple years now. She's He's wonderful. Mm. And he introduced me to Lee Daniels a few years back. So I've been blessed to be able to deliver food to him as well. So it's just been wonderful. 
wonderful. Oh my gosh. Uh, so I'm lucky to taste some of the celebrity food, yes, right? Let me get yes. this fork. This is for you. Okay. I'm going to try it right now. Yeah, tell me what uh, you think. Okay. It looks a little different than what a, a normal <laughs> casserole dish is, people, but let's see. Um, oh my gosh. It's sweet. Good, right? It's Very really sweet. good. The maple syrup. Really good. This is a great dish. Thank you, and super easy. All right, well, for more information about this recipe or to check out more about the chef, just go to our app at fox5atlanta.com. Time now is 9.20 this morning. Coming up on Good Day Atlanta, nominations for the Golden Globes.